Hi, my name is Debbie Michiko Florence, and I'm the author of the Jasmine Taguchi chapter book series, Mochi Queen, Super Sleuth, Drummer Girl, and Flamingo Keeper. Today, I'm going to read you a little bit from one of my books, and then I'm going to give you a writing prompt. That is me giving you a sentence, and you finish it and keep going so you can write your own story. And hopefully you'll have fun writing, just like I do. All right, here we go. So Jasmine Taguchi is a third grade Japanese American girl with a big sister named Sophie who's sometimes not very nice to her. She lives with Sophie, her mom, and her dad. And Jasmine's favorite animal in the world is the flamingo. So in this particular story, Jasmine's best friend, Lenny Green, has received a puppy as a pet. And Jasmine's thinking, boy, she sure wishes she could have a flamingo for a pet. Her mom picks her up and they drive home. And Sophie, her big sister, is waiting in the driveway, which is unusual. And then when mom gets out of the car, Sophie grabs mom and drags her to the house. And Jasmine wonders, what's going on? So here we go, chapter three. Whoops. Sophie dashed to the kitchen table and pointed to two small back boxes wrapped in brown paper. Dad said I had to wait till you and Jasmine got home. Mom put a hand to her heart. You scared me, Sophie. I thought something was wrong. Can I open mine now? Sophie picked up one of the packages. What is it, I asked. I scooted around the table and peeked at the other box. This one has my name on it. Who sent them, Mom asked. Oh, Bajan, I said, reading the return address from Hiroshima, Japan. Why is your grandma sending you packages? Mom smiled. It's not your birthdays or Christmas. It must be just because, I said. Sometimes we got just because presents, just because Sophie and I behaved well at the store, or just because mom or dad saw something we'd like, or just because they love us. Once, mom got me an eraser shaped like a flamingo. Sophie got one like a soccer ball. Mom, please, can we open them? Sophie waved the box in mom's face. Mom laughed. Yes, you may both open your packages together. Dad walked in as Sophie and I sat at the table. Sophie tore the paper off her package, tossing bits and pieces to the floor. Sophie Taguchi, Mom said. That was a change. Usually Mom said my full name like that. I like to savor a surprise. On her birthday, Sophie always tore through her gifts, but I took my time opening my presents. Sophie, wait till your sister unwraps hers before you open the box. Jasmine, Sophie said, hurry. Instead of hurrying, I moved super slowly. Everyone was always telling me what to do. Mom, Dad, Sophie. I carefully peeled back the tape from the brown paper. What's taking you so long? Sophie asked. I want to save these, I said. I was going to cut the stamps from Japan and put them in a collage. I shot a grin at my sister, but Sophie was giving me such a glare. It felt like a laser sizzling right through my brain. I'm going to open my box, Sophie announced. Dad chuckled. Patience, Sophie. I sped up, partly because I didn't want Sophie to be mad at me, and mostly because I wanted to see what Obachan had sent us. I slid off the brown wrapping paper and gripped the white cardboard box. Knowing Obachan, she got me and Sophie the same thing. Whatever it was, I didn't want Sophie to know before I did. On three, okay? Sophie said to me as she grasped the box. One, two, three. We both lifted the lids at the same time. I peeked into my box. It was something rounded and red. Maybe Obachan got me a ball? That didn't feel very special. My heart sank to my toes, but I tried not to show my disappointment. That would be ungrateful, and Mom has a rule that we have to be gracious when receiving gifts. What is this? Sophie asked. I reached into my box and pulled out a whatever it was. It was light like a ball, but not round like a ball. It felt like it was made from thick paper or cardboard. It was oval shaped with a flat bottom. It looks like a doll, I said, thinking Obachan probably didn't know that Sophie had stopped playing with dolls. It has no eyebrows. Sophie screeched and she threw the doll thing in the air. And there she is throwing it in the air. Okay. 
Sophie's doll thing threw, flew through the kitchen. Dad caught it. Oh, he said, it's a dynamo. What's that? I was much braver than Sophie. I wasn't afraid of a strange looking present. I peered at the odd thing in my hand. It had a peach colored face with black eyeballs and a beard. A boy doll then. He had a red slash for a mouth. Not quite happy, but not quite mad either. Gold lines radiated out around his face. The strangest thing was that the doll had blank white circles instead of eyes. It's a wishing doll, Mom said. You make a wish and color in one eye. When the wish is fulfilled, you color in the other eye. Wowie zowie, I said, that's super cool. There's a picture of the Dynamo without an eyeball, without any eyeball. All right, so a Dynamo looks like this. This is mine. That is a Dynamo doll, and this is mine that I made a wish on a long time ago, and I colored in one eyeball. And I wished, I will tell you my wish, I wish that someday I would write a story and it would become a book for readers to read. And that wish came true. And so I got to color in the other eye. So now we're gonna talk about a writing prompt. Are you ready? Make sure you have a pencil or a pen and paper to write on. All right, now here's your writing prompt. Let's pretend that your character, first you need a character. So come up with a character, whatever you want it to be, a boy, a girl, a puppy, a rock, an alien, something anything, anything you want, and then name your character, whatever you want. And then, now we're gonna work on a story. Let's say that your character received a Dharma doll just like Jasmine received, no eyeballs colored in. And your character gets to make a wish. So your story starts out with, I wish that, and then start writing. What does your character wish for? And then what happens in the rest of the story? Keep writing until you run out of things to say. Don't worry about spelling or punctuation or even if you think the story is good because that's the fun part, just writing the story. So good luck and have fun. Bye-bye.